What ever brought you over to that part of the woods, Jody? I, uh, flag ran away. Well, I guess that means you're out there playing instead of working. I'm sorry, Pa. Tell him you're sorry, too, huh, Flag? That stone used to be part of an old foundation. A foundation? A family by the name of Berkeley moved into a house out there just after you were born. I never knew that. They had a girl about your age, and I picked out a name for her. Oh, yeah? Pretty girl like her needed a pretty name. Oh. What name did you choose? Sandra. Ah. Sandra, huh? That sure is pretty. Well, I'm glad to hear you like it, because your ma and I always figured if you'd been a girl, that's what we would have named you, too. Huh? Now, well, Jody, could you go over to Flutter Wings and borrow about ten four-inch nails? Sure, Pa. Come on, Flag! Sure. Take whatever you need out of that toolbox there. Oh, uh, thanks, Buck. Yeah, we've been real lucky so far not having any storms and all, but it's better to be safe than sorry. You bet. Hey, Jody! Huh? How you doing, Jody? Uh, I got something real neat to show you, Potterwing. Nobody never told me about there being another house out here in the woods between your pa's farm and my house. We never would have known if Flag hadn't shown us. Well, I'm glad the old place is gone, because, you know, if those folks were still living out here, you and me might not be such good friends. Why's that? Because if I know you, you'd be spending all your time over here playing with that girl Sandra. You're the one who's so crazy about girls these days. You big liar. Yeah. <laughs> I made you blush. Oh, I made you blush. Baxter. Huh? Jody Baxter. So you're Jody. Well, I'm certainly glad to see you. I've got the sweetest little daughter who's just about your age back at home. Uh, are you Mr. Berkeley? I am. And my old place certainly hasn't changed very much. Uh. Mm -hmm. Everything's just the same. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. It's like I never, ever left the place. <laughs> well, well, sure am sorry we didn't have a chance to cook up something special. Mm. No, it was just great. It's been a real long time since I've had the honor of enjoying Ori Baxter's honest-to-goodness down-home cooking. It sure is a coincidence, Jody stumbling on that foundation where your old house used to be, and you coming on the same day. So this is the little pitsqueak that used to cry so much all the time. Sandra must be all grown up, too. Yep. I must say she's become a mighty pretty young woman. So how about it, Jody boy? You want to get married to my girl? Well, I, uh... Jody, he's only joking. <laughs> <laughs> It's getting late. I asked my driver to come and get me. Well, why don't you just stay on overnight with us, old friend? Well, I don't... It's been ten long years since we've been able to visit with you. Well, I'm much obliged. And if my driver doesn't turn up, I may take you up on that. Can I take a look at that watch, Mr. Berkeley? Sure. Of course you may. Thanks. Wow, it's real shiny. 
Oh, it moves. I can't believe it. It really moves. <laughs> it wouldn't be much of a watch if it didn't move, now would it? <laughs> Mr. Berkeley, can I show it to Flag? Judy, that's a very valuable watch. Go ahead, Judy. Thanks. Uh-huh. Why, that phone's just like a brother to Judy. More like a sweetheart than like a brother, I believe. Then I guess there isn't much hope of him getting married to Sandra after all, huh? <laughs> so, I imagine whatever business you've taken up must be booming these days. With your own driver and a beautiful gold watch, it seems you really have done well for yourself. Well, I guess I really can't complain about business affairs. I wonder if we wouldn't have had better luck if we'd gotten out of the woods back at the time Mr. Berkeley did. Well, maybe we should have taken up that offer. Ah, uh, we just had a bit of luck. Nothing more than that. Ha, 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 ha.